In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you that my top five tips to stop the run in Madden 20 and also in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel basically focuses on helping you get better at Madden 20, also at Madden 21. And I believe that as I get better and you get better, we'll all get better together. So I want to jump in. And this is kind of a redo of a video. I had a little bit of a mic issue with some of my with some of my previous videos. But I want to talk about my top five tips to stop the run. And the reason that I wanted to do that is because I think that in Madden 20 we figured out and what we learned is that stopping the run is a lot harder than we think it is. Uh, and what I mean by that, I think for years in Madden, we were able to do everything with our user. And there's some other reasons as to why this is the case this year specifically. But we've been accustomed to doing everything with our user that we've forgotten good solid principles for run defense so these are five things that you can do in any year of madden and to illustrate it i'm going to do it out of the three four odd but this can apply out of really any formation you can also we might look at the nickel three through five but the first principle that i would say to stopping the run is to think about the run fit so what i mean by run fit is in cover three there are going to be three guys that aren't in the run fit. Basically, whoever's in the deep blue zones, they're not going to play the run fit. And, and the only exception to that is cover four. So um, what you'll see here, Tampa 2, most deep safeties, they're playing deep to short, so they're not going to play in the run fit. Cover three, same thing, deep to short, so you've got three people that are not going to be in the run fit. Now cover two, your corners will be in the run fit, but your safeties won't. In cover four, your safeties will be in the run fit, but your corners won't. In man-to-man -man coverage, um, from what I know, I'm pretty sure that if it's like a cover zero, everybody's in the run fit. But if they're in a deep blue, like if they're in um, free safety blitz, only the safety on the left will be in the run fit. So the idea is pick a defense that has the people in the run fit that you want. So an example is coming out in cover four drop show two and what you'll see is every um is from a uh, let me see my pre-play menu here if i can defensive keys um you'll see here that everybody the safeties are in the run run fit okay so if he runs these two guys are going to come so what stamp the ball let me just show you so a simple run and i want you to we're going to go into instant replay in just a second so i just let the play run this is just computer generated and this is true every year in madden at least every year that I've been, at least every year since they've introduced this feature. So if you go back, and this is, you want to lab your run defense exactly like you lab anything. And that's what I think people miss. We are so used to just labbing, and I'm personally, I've had to grow so much this year um, on the defensive side of the ball. It's actually been really good. But we're so used to just labbing blitzes. We don't lab coverages, we don't lab run fits, we don't lab sides of the fields. All of those things play a massive difference. So anyway, if we want to take a look here, you'll see at the snap of the ball, it's a run play. So you see how the safeties come down? That's the cue there in the run fit. And as you can see on the back side, the corners back up. That's their first step. That's their first step. So now if I call, let me show you what's going to happen. So if I call a cover two, Tampa two, in theory, the corners will come forward but the safeties will stay back. So if we go into instant replay, you'll see this is the case. Now, the reason I'm going to talk about that is because we're going to, this is so important. So tip number one is to understand the run fit and how they react. As you can see here, you see the corners jet in off the edge. See that right there? See how the safeties drop back? Now what we're going to test real quickly is we're going to test man-to-man. -man. So this is, we're going to test two different types of man. We're going to test man-to-man -man cover two, and then we're going to test cover zero man. So we're just going to run it at, at the snap. And as you can see here, see how the safeties, um, it, when we go in instant replay, what you'll see is you'll see the safeties will back away from the ball. So snap of the ball, you see how they back away initially, but the corners on the outside, they come in. All right, and that's cover two man. Now what we're going to test is we're just going to test cover zero. All right, so pinch bucko, snap of the ball. And you see here this time, the safeties came down, but the corners didn't quite come. And obviously, we're able to score. But I want to show you what we're really trying to test here is this run fit theory. So 
at the snap of the ball in a cover zero shell, you're going to see the corners. You see how that corner on the right backed up, but the corner on the left kind of stuck it, stuck at home. In my opinion, and I don't know why that is off the top of my head, but I think it's kind of due to the type of blocking assignment that they're assigned. So, for example, the tight end on the left side, he's assigned to block, so my corner on the left side is going to treat it as if he was blocking during pass play. The wide receiver on the right side is designed to run a streak route, and so you see that corner is going to bail just like he would be running a streak route. So the reason this matters is because it informs what type of coverage shell we need to call if we want to get everybody in the run fit. Because step number two, to me, every year, is wide wide runs are typically the run that you want to hang on to. So um, what we're going to do is show you here. So uh, a wide blitz angle, as you can see here, pinch dog to press. This is a really good example of a defense that has wide blitz angles for the linebackers. What I mean by that is essentially... Every year we have an issue with the run, at least this year more than any other year, and that's keeping the edge contained. As you see, I can run stretch to the outside, and I can get to the edge, and then this idea of setting the edge, that's one of the big keys to run defense. And so one of the ways that we can do that is we can take our linebackers and simply kind of pop them out just a little bit. Now we know we're going to leave this little gap here uh, on the right, but what that's instantly going to do is against pretty much every run, you see we're going to keep that, ah, we didn't on that one, but we're, we're, we're going to keep that outside contain. And, I mean, you can even, if you go ahead and QB contain, and I think this will be big in next year's game, but they're going to take a wider blitz angle. So snap of the ball, I think it might be because I'm not pass committing, but they, they, should th they should take a wide blitz angle. What you want that, then you want that, because your job as a defense is, um, from your outside perspective, your guys on the outside, their job is to set the edge, set the edge, set the edge. So here's snap of the ball, and, and you see how we're having a little bit of issue setting the edge. But um, that's the theory, okay? Step number three, once you have picked a good run fit and once you've, just, once you've figured out a good way to set the edge, is to figure out how to get guys to shoot into what's called gap integrity. What I mean by gap integrity is what gap is this person responsible for? What gap is this person responsible for? Remember, if they're in the run fit, so in the cover two, Rhodes would be responsible for the outside. Wilson is responsible for the outside. These, This guy over here is responsible. This guy over there is responsible. So the safeties are bailing, so they're going to come down and clean it up. So that's why our next tip is um, talks about an eight-man box. So eight-man box being how do we get more people in the in the vicinity to be able to make a play before they've already been able to run for five to seven yards? That's about eight-man box. We learned about that with four, six defenses. They for Every four, six defense has an eight-man box. From three, four odd, what's really cool is you can easily create an eight-man box just by pressing the coverage, and that's one of the big keys to the defense. From there, gap integrity. So what gap do we want Harris and Smith to play? Well, really, we just want them to go straight down if we're being you know, straight up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spy, and we learned that this year, and it's been good every year, but spying your safeties will really help with their run fit. So even if they're not in the run fit, if you spy them, you see how they're going to react eventually, and they're going to go right down the middle, as you can see. So really what's going to happen here with this with this simple run defense is when you spy your safeties, they're basically going to attack the guards. That's where they're going to go. They're going to go right to the guards. So what I like to do is go ahead and spread my defensive line because what I want the defensive line to do is basically eat up blockers so that my edge guys can protect the edge. And as you can see here, we're able to protect the edge and then we're able to come and he's able to come right into us. Now, um, set the edge, okay? Pick a good run fit play, get a good box, spy your safeties. And then the last thing is understand, understand your user responsibilities. Understand your user responsibilities. To me, to me, um, unless you're on the goal line, what I like to do is make my user the last line of defense. And so in this scenario, if I'm using the backside linebacker, what I'm going to do is at the snap of the ball, I'm going to click the right stick in and hold left trigger and basically back him out into a safety position. 
So you'll see here, snap the ball my click and back him out, and then I will fill fill back in wherever he goes. Because this year, more than any year, we know what happens when you're aggressive with your user. Your your def your offense is able to get around you, around you, and we all know that probably the best way to defend the run is to man align and press. Because man align and pressing, what that simply does for our our defense is that allows them to have clear-cut um, leverage. Leverage, leverage, leverage. So, for example, um, with Rhodes here, if I wanted to, I could drag him right over here, and I just know that the tight ends are my responsibility, maybe on a goal line type of setting. But you'll see here, if he goes to the halfback blast, I'm going to click right stick in, and then I'm just going to clean him up. And I miss, my, I miss my guy, but that's okay. You know, so again, um, those are my top five run defense tips. Um, simply come out in a play that has good run fits. I would recommend cover two or cover four. Um, man coverage is also really good for this. Spy the safeties and then know the gap integrity. So create an eight-man box. Know the gap integrity of the defense. So in this scenario, if we want our linebackers to come down the middle here, then what we need to do is we need to maybe crash our line to the um, what I like to do is pinch my line and spread them because I'm thinking they're going to kind of or crash them out. The crash is really critical because the crash is going to be where they're going to take their double team. So if I crash them out, he's going to take it outside. It's going to open up a window for those linebackers to be able to come down the A-gap. So, again, very, very simple uh, run defense tips here, but hopefully very, very helpful. Uh, again, if you wanted to maybe spread your line and then you could pinch them in, what should happen is these linebackers should have a little bit of an open window. And so you'll see here a snap of the ball, and you're going to get some guys coming through that, coming through the gaps, as you can see. So experiment with your line. Experiment with your crashes. Um, to me, my biggest tip that I could give you about run defense is treat run defense light labbing like you would treat pass defense labbing. All right, how do you lab a pass defense? How do you lab a run defense? To me, you lab them very similarly. It's just this year, more than any other year, we didn't spend enough time labbing run defense. Now, granted, I 100% agree there's challenges this year. But I hope this video helped you um, put together your own run defense. And from our scheme of the weeks and things that we're going to be doing on our channel, be sure to subscribe because... We're going to be doing a bunch of free giveaway uh, schemes. We're also going to have some ebooks. And if you haven't already, join our Discord because our Discord, eventually, I'm going to release my full Man 20 offensive and defensive scheme for free. Full, entire, every formation broken down within the Baltimore Ravens and Arizona Cardinals playbook. So if you haven't joined Discord, be sure to join it once we hit 100 members in our Discord. I'll release that on there for you guys. 